Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the JF-17 and we're looking at the ability to use the F-10 map menu that we all have to pre-position waypoints, pre-plan points and route points. So if we look at all the destination points that we have available in the memory of a Jeff, you can see that we've got from zero to 59. Zero is the default position for our INS alignment. We're not going to mess with that. Zero, 01 to 29 are waypoints reserved for navigation. I should say at this point that this came from Chuck's Guide. Thank you, Chuck. Which means that we have 21 slots for navigation waypoints available. And if you look on the right hand column, you can see the syntax that we're going to use in the F10 menu WPT 1 to 29. Dest slots 30 to 35 are points known as root points which are reserved for the CM802 series of missile. If you look at our tutorial on that type of missile you can see that we can have up to 6 root points. Syntax in the F10 menu, F10 menu is RP1 to 6. Dest slots 36 to 39 are points reserved for INS GPS guided munitions that can use the pre-planned points. The syntax for this in the F10 menu will be Papa Papa 1 to 4. And then purely out of interest, other destination slots 40 is for our SPI, we'll only ever have one SPI. 41 to 49 are for marking mark points, which we can do from the UFC, and we've got a video on that. 50 to 58 are for the nearest airfield so that we can navigate to various airfields these are not editable and then we have data slot or desk slot 59 which is reserved for an airfield which is editable so today we're just looking at waypoints route points and pre-plan points and it's super duper simple so we're going to go to f10 menu here's our little mission that we've got to set up we're going to take off and fly to these guys here so we're going to click on that mark label and mark label on off so they're both highlighted we're going to put waypoint one there click there capitals wpt1 one, waypoint 1 click on this again and waypoint 2 is going to go there wpt2 and waypoint 3 will be in the ao uh, which will be waypoint whoopsie waypoint 3 there's our three waypoints and you know what why don't we just have another one which takes us back to base waypoint 4 now we've suddenly been aware that these tanks need destroying or whatever they are so we're going to put pre plan points on those so mark label that guy is going to be pp1 okay and that guy is going to be pp2 uh, it's those two and we've just been made aware that there are some ships out there we need to put some route points for our anti-shipping 802 missiles so we're going to route it down here route point one and there route point two completely unrealistic but it really doesn't matter for this and there, boot point three. We've got proper videos about how to do this, obviously, but it's just showing you for today. There, so we're going to put root points one to three in there. We're going to put uh, pre plan points one and two in there. We're going to put waypoints one, two, three, four in there, okay? And we'll have to be spelled as that is. I've got them with capital letters, okay? So we're going to go back to the cockpit. Next, we're going to populate our DTC cartridge so that information comes from the F10 menu into the aircraft. So we're just going to ensure that our cartridge is ejected and it is comms menu as per standard parent menu ground crew update dtc data copy updating the dtc now dtc update complete okay let's put the guy in in goes the cartridge ping move over to our F left mfd i'm going to take all of the information through let that upload into the computer okay that's just done all of those points are in let's now go and prove it to ourselves so we're going to click four on the ufc dst destination and you can see we've got our list of points here so we've got waypoints one uh, in fact that there is an INS way uh, start points so we've got waypoints one two three and four including a lat long and an altitude on the left side step forward you don't directly enter a number yeah roger honestly and you can see that we've got root points one two and three and we've also got pre-planned points one and two all in here and remember if you've seen our other navigation videos you can then copy and paste these points to different slots if you want to and or go in and edit them and do whatever you want i hope that was useful and see you later